like the Loch Ness Monster. Uh, like Nessie, you know, just seeing it for the first time, you're like, whoa, wow, that was cool. First reaction was just like, that is a glorious mullet. Like, who is that guy? He's one of those guys that stands out and is, like I said, unapologetic, doesn't care about um, what other people think. Well, some say he never really wanted all the attention, but one Fort Wayne man's haircut made him into an internet sensation. If you've been to a bar in the last 40 years, you may have seen the guy they call the Fort Wayne mullet man or the silver fox. Yeah, this is a local legend that will likely live on for years in the Summit City. I have more on why the mullet man has become such a popular figure here in the fort. Patrick Cope has always finds a way to be the life of the party. It's like, well, there he is, time to party. Even at the parties, he doesn't show up to. It's hard to explain. It really is hard to explain. Like the release event for a beer that was named after him at Hop River Brewing Company. I don't know why we're fascinated with him. Patrick, who's known around the Summit City as the Fort Wayne Mullet Man or the Silver Fox, has been a major part of Fort Wayne's bar scene for the last four decades. I mean, it would have been the 90s, yeah, late 80s, early 90s, when I first uh, noticed the same guy with a distinctive haircut. I, I first saw him years and years ago. It used to be just kind of the running joke, like, oh, there's the mullet man, there's the mullet man, and now he's like, the mullet man. His popularity has grown even bigger in the Facebook era. In fact, despite not having his own personal Facebook page, there is a group devoted to Patrick with nearly 6,000 followers all who are usually on the lookout for the elusive silver fox. I see them get out their cameras. They want to take a picture of them. They want to uh, put them on their Instagram or their social media. You'll be out at a bar somewhere. You'll be having fun with your friends, right? And out of the shadows, this man appears, the silver fox. It's, it's an incredible feeling. It's like a, uh, it's like a myth, you know? Fort Wayne's fascination with Patrick was so intriguing to the guys at Gunslinger Productions, He's like a modern day Johnny Appleseed. They decided yeah, the actually, Silver Fox you, had a story worth myth. telling on the silver yeah, screen. All. We really wanted to figure out who he was, but in order to do that and tell the story most effectively, we had to figure out what the main theme was gonna be, how we were gonna establish this guy as a modern day folk hero. The local production company spent the last year pouring themselves into the movie they named American Mullet. He's not afraid to rock that hairstyle and that belly shirt and his cut off jean shorts with a Coors Light. That's just who he is and what's he, what he wants to be. But he doesn't like the, the, the attention. I mean, he doesn't mind it, but at the same time, it's not something that he's seeking. Eventually, that film premiered at the Three Rivers Festival. After skipping out on his beer release party at Hop River, some people were worried that Patrick wouldn't even show up here to Headwaters Park for the premiere of his movie. Unfortunately, when the show started, Patrick was nowhere to be found. It blew up. But that didn't stop people from sticking around to watch his life story unfold, which included a move from France to the United States and a career at the GE campus in downtown Fort Wayne. By the time the show wrapped up, the audience found out this is a man who's embraced life's adventures. He dresses his own way, he does his own hair the own way, uh, his own way. That's uh, refreshing to a lot of people. And his family says that's exactly what people should take from his story. While they decided not to go on camera, his family told us, quote, Pat is a very humble, caring, private, and honest person. He lives his life to the fullest, not caring what others think of him. He has a carefree spirit, taking each day, one day at a time. So next time you see the so-called silver fox in public, don't be afraid to say hi, talk to him for a little bit, maybe snap a picture with him, and of course, finish it with a nice cheers. You know, there are some people who can pull off one hairstyle for their entire life, and I feel like he's one of those guys. You know, I kind of wish I had done that, like with the hairstyle well, I have now. 
Because <laughs> like back in junior high, I did like the the highlights, like the Backstreet Boys. Oh, okay. Was not well, we good. need a picture of that, Adam. Yeah. Okay, very but the interesting. Mullet, Patrick rocks the mullet well, and he wears it with so much confidence. Yes. And I think that's what people are attracted to. I agree. As here's a guy who doesn't really care what people think about him. Mm -hmm. He just is who he is, and you know, yeah. kudos to him for that. I want to meet him one day, and I will say, I know who you are, but you don't know who I am. <laughs> <laughs> there you go.